Alright, this right here is my first video for YouTube. Probably even my last. But I'd have to say, I uh, bought a pellet stove. Um, put it down here in my utility room. As you can see off to the right is my water tank. Uh, off to my left is my uh, oil furnace boiler. And um, it's down here. My house is upside down, so to speak. So it's down here in the utility room, which is on a first floor. Living quarters, master bedroom, master bathroom is upstairs. Um, wanted to find a way to find or to get the heat upstairs. Needed to make a plenum of some sort. Um, works very well, actually. The uh, pellet stove really heats the downstairs well. 80, 85 degrees. The upstairs like 74, 75 degrees. So I built this plenum out of a filing cabinet. And uh, basically it's working off convection. The side that's touching the pellet stove is where the drawers used to pull out on the filing cabinet, so it's an open hole, butted up against the side. I have the stove running at uh, uh, level one, so um, you know it's not cooking to the point of no return, but it gets warm enough. It's like 110, 120 degrees inside that um, filing cabinet. I've got one of the little door knocking corner fans in there to push the heat up through my fancy ass ductwork blah 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 all the way up through anyways goes into the master bedroom nothing too fancy about it works really well about 110 degrees at the outlet um, again kind of a strange little apparatus here's shop stove thousand dollar piece I guess something like that but you know the side of this thing gets you can see this yeah, yeah. To run the thermometer or uh, temperature gauge. It's right in the burn zone. Just starting to touch the burn zone right now. So like 300, 300 degrees, 350 degrees, whatever it may be. But anyways, that's what we're looking at. So that's what the other side gets as far as heat and the convection side of things. Going into my fancy ass super duper plenum filing cabinet you know and if you get any documents that you want to stash keep them right in there nobody's gonna look for the goddamn things um, would have been kind of cool if I could have turned it pulled the bottom drawer out for the lower floor top drawer up now I'm just bullshit but anyways that's what we're looking at you know can you say fire hazard fire hazard not really there's no fire in the box it's just a dry box but it works well it's pretty slick I like it Anyways, we'll go on to something more. So I've got more beer to drink, so I'll be creative and create something else. See you later, boy.